this is your directorial debut yes. for a feature film. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about the film and what challenges did you face? Uh, I, we face pretty much every challenge imaginable. This is my directorial debut. It's a Western, which seems to be the least uh, commercially viable genre you can, you can choose. Uh, I insisted on shooting the entire screenplay. It's a 133 minute movie, has very little music. Uh, it's an ensemble cast, uh, horses. Uh, we had about 70 locations. We shot it in 21 days. So it was, uh, it was a grueling shoot, and the, and the only way something like this happens is you get a lot of people who believe in the material and uh, knock themselves out to do it. Speaking of the cast, you got, you got an amazing cast. How did, you, um, how did you get Kurt Russell to do it? Uh, we got Kurt Russell through, um, uh, originally in the uh, Arthur O'Dwyer role, we, we'd cast Peter Sarsgaard, and he's known for being particularly critical, and he really enjoyed the script, and I had a great meeting with him, and uh, he's represented by uh, the person who represents Kurt Russell, and after we got the seal of approval from Peter Sarsgaard, it passed on to Kurt Russell, and he read it uh, shortly after, and had some apprehensions in terms of me being the first time director, but I worked as a cinematographer for a lot of years and directed some theater, and we had a really good conversation that uh, made him a little bit more confident in getting on board this project, which was uh, ambitious to say the least. Why him in particular? I mean, I know he's kind of the embodiment of a Western sheriff, but um, yeah, why did you choose him in particular? Uh, in addition to being a, a movie star, he's a particularly good actor, and uh, there's a certain um, there's a certain weight that he brings to a role like that, and uh, sort of an obvious choice for me. But uh, and, and something that's just really fantastic about him, like a lot of a lot of people who are uh, movie stars of the yesteryear, like Burt Lancaster, Humphrey Bogart, uh, sort of guys. There's a there's a quality to the cadences of his voice and his line readings. It's uh, it's just it's particularly memorable and. Uh, this is a guy who turned a lot of lines that were pretty good on the page into something uh, really, really special. And there's, a, there's just that, that quality that comes with him that, that makes things like that happen. Um, and, I mean, this, this film does stand apart as a Western. Um, so I guess what was your focus in making it unique and actually just very um, one of a kind as a Western? Uh, I'm a big fan of the, the Western genre and... Uh, when, when I set out to do this, uh, this was the fifth Western I've written. So uh, preceding this, I had two Western novels published and then a couple of Western scripts that I'd sold in Hollywood that uh, didn't get produced. So I was already doing something different with the Western while embracing what I think is the, are, are the core elements of the genre. But then when it gets dark, it gets really dark and goes a little bit further or a lot further than the audience expects. And I just wanted to have uh, an experience where you really get to relish these characters, the space of the world that they live in, and at the same time come away from an experience with some images in your mind that you are not likely to forget. What made you take on this project? Yeah, so we, we've worked with Craig for a number of years, and uh, he's been a very successful writer, but as, as it can happen in Hollywood, uh, none of his movies got made. Um, and so we really wanted to support his transition to a director. And so we engineered this script with him to make for price and with a certain set of actors. And uh, I think we've, you know, succeeded beyond our wildest imagination. I mean, um, as far as I know, this film is working on quite a small budget. What are the challenges and difficulties that you guys face during that? Well, I think the challenges you face on a small budget is time constraints and uh, maybe you don't have a uh, helicopter, you know, capturing them while they're on horseback. But for us, uh, we embraced all of our restraints and everyone that came on the film was such fans of Craig and his writing and this specific script that we got the best of the best to come on and do it for sweat, labor, and it was great. It was really yeah. amazing. When you, when you make a movie for a price, there's no time or money to fix anything. And so you really have to get it right the first time. And so we worked a lot on uh, giving Craig time for the actors to rehearse. And we, we uh, hired a lot of, of, of crew members and, and cast that we've worked with in the past. I mean, pre-production. I mean, with literally the months we've had leading up to the film to make sure we had everything planned out on top of the commitment of the cast and crew really you know, nailed it for us at this budget. I mean, the, the cast and crew is actually I mean, quite an amazing group of people that you guys have collected. Um, what was it like to 
get um, Kurt Russell for this? So I, I have an email that I framed to <laughs> Craig and to Jack that says Kurt is in and it's all in caps and it's an exclamation points all the way down the line. And then we and all I, went and clicked our bucket list. We were just like, yeah, we yeah, did it, I'm, we're done. Oh yeah, it's like, oh, he's in, all right, Kurt we're Russell. making this, holy, <laughs> holy moly. Yeah. Now, so, now you actually have to make it. Yeah, no, no, that was. And that was the best part. I mean, working with Kurt, Richard, Matthew, uh, Patrick every single day, and Lily Simmons. I mean, it was it was such a communal project to be on that everyone just became on this journey with the actors, and it was fantastic. As a Western, it's uh, quite a unique kind of take on it, um, where it's a bit gruesome. It's it's quite an interesting story. Um, so, could you please tell us a little bit about the film and um, I guess how you guys made it unique? Uh, so the best way it's been described is the searchers meets cannibal holocaust, which I really I really like that, uh, and it's just awesome. And uh, that's that's true. I mean I mean this is a genre bending western. It's a horrific western. It's a brutal western. I think we've captured a fictional version of the West, which no one's seen before, and that's what I'm most proud of. And I think we don't go in for gimmicks. Everything is truly uh, honest and, and straightforward, even the horror moments. So for us, it was really about trying to capture a sense of the brutality of the West. I think, um, I guess while creating this film, you guys went through quite a bit. Um, so I hope you guys are proud of yourselves because it actually looks like quite an interesting and unique masterpiece. And um, yeah, just best of luck for you guys. Yeah. Time you, you grow up uh, having Westerns for breakfast and horror movies for breakfast, and you get to put two of them together and have a premiere in London at this theater. I, I think we, we couldn't be prouder. As good as it gets. <laughs>